All right, so welcome to Night Hacking at Java One. With me, I have Benjamin Cobb. How do you say your last name? Yeah, with, I guess that would be Cabe. Cabe? Yeah. OK, Benjamin Cabe um, from Eclipse. And you're going to talk a little bit about what you guys are doing at IoT. I've noticed you're, you're very active on your blog. Yep. You have lots of cool projects going on there. Yep. Um, so tell me about some of the exciting things which you've been playing around with recently. Yeah, so I mean, this morning we actually had uh, several, um, we have the tutorial and the talk where we were demoing some of the, of the IoT stuff that we have. So well, I guess it all starts with the, the protocols, right? When you want to connect IoT solutions, you need some protocols. So at Eclipse we have uh, MQTT, we have Co-op as well, Lightweight M2M. These all are protocols that are very bandwidth efficient, right? Yeah. And so we have Java implementation, I guess. For MQTT, we have uh, Java ME as well, a Java ME implementation. You know, I think there is a JMAL, so as a booth, right? And that would be the kind of target you want to run um, uh, an MQTT client. Uh, yeah, no, it seems like lots of people are using MQTT as the transport protocol yeah. for the internet thing. So why do you think that's the protocol of choice for a lot of folks? Well, it's one of the one of these cool protocols where the, um, the specification is very simple. It's like, I think it's 20 pages, which is, believe me, it's, 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 it's very few compared to many other protocols. So even if you were to implement your own MQTT stack, actually you could do that in probably a couple of days, or you yeah. can leverage the, the whole open source ecosystem. MQTT has been around for 10 or 15 years, so basically even if you would like to do VB, uh, you would have an MQTT client. Right? All right, and so for folks who don't know about MQTT, um, tell us a little bit about how it works. So it's basically a, a queuing protocol? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a message queue for telemetry transport. Yeah. And it's pub sub kind of protocol. You have all your things, all your sensors that will talk to a central broker, and they, they will either publish messages or subscribe to, to, to messages. So you can uh, you use topics to structure your messages, and that's how it works. So that you have like uh, five, six basic commands in the protocol. You need to be able to connect, to publish, to subscribe. That's pretty much it. That's all you need. That's all there is in the protocol. It's based on TCP. Yeah. A very, very small overhead on top of TCP. Like if you send very small keep alive kind of packets, it will be just a couple bytes uh, of, uh, of extra uh, bytes in, on top of TCP. So that's why people like MQTT for when you do IoT, you should usually do wireless kind of stuff, right? You have cellular, you have uh, wireless in general, so bandwidth is important. Yep. You don't want, I mean, HTTP would work for sure, but it's just more verbose, right? Cool. So I know you guys are working on a bunch of other stuff at Eclipse, and yep. I, I know the OpenHab guys have joined the Eclipse yep. Foundation, so yeah, uh, um, how's that been working out? Yeah, so um, the, the project at Eclipse, it's called Smart Home. Yep. It's the foundation for OpenHab, the world uh, home automation engine that is basically open source and, and, and living at Eclipse. So the idea is that you have this wall rule mechanism, all the, the ability to describe bindings between all your um, uh, Zigbee, uh, Philips, Smart Hue, whatever kind of devices you have in your home, all the infrastructure. This is now an Eclipse open source project. And of course, I mean, in Smart Home, if you want to use MQTT, you can as well. If you talk to the Smart Home people, they will tell you that they really, their project is really about building an intranet of things. Yeah, yeah. You know, you really want to build your own home automation thingy, but if at some point you want your home to be connected to the cloud, then you can use MQTT, you can use HTTP, WebSockets, whatever you want. Cool. So um, what other sort of stuff are you doing? Well, one thing that we have, a, a very cool product is, is Cura. Cura is something you put on your Raspberry Pi, on your Java gateway, to turn your device into what I would call an IoT gateway. So okay, how do you that, spell that? That would be K-U-R-A. Got it. So um, the idea is that, yeah, you would uh, have a complete uh, framework to build IoT applications. You have, uh, it's based on OSGI, so it leverages some, some services for doing, for abstracting the communication with the cloud, for example, abstracting the hardware, uh, the hardware layer. And yeah, basically, once you have Cura, it's very easy to deploy Java applications over the air, manage them, install them, upgrade them. So that would be the kind of stuff you would do with Cura. Nice, nice. Now that sounds like you can do quite a lot with it. Yeah. And how about for your personal hacking? So have you been using all these technologies together? Yeah, what, what I'm, I mean, at home, I, I still have to find the perfect <laughs> home automation use case. I think many people. So this is a lot of stuff you build, you use in your personal life. Yeah, I mean, uh, what, I, what I'm more and more um, looking at right now is really wireless sensor networks like 
very tiny microcontrollers that are battery powered, but that yeah. can still run an IP stack and that can still talk co-op or MQTT. So this is the kind of stuff I'm, I'm playing uh, with right now and trying to to link them with what we do with Cura, with MQTT and stuff like that. Yeah. Nice, that's very cool. All right, so thanks a lot for telling me about some of the technologies using Eclipse for yeah. IoT. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the Java One conference. Yeah, and if you guys want, want a demo of what we're doing, we have we have the Eclipse Foundation booth. Uh, I think it's yeah in row 50. Yeah, well, a lot of people are going to watch the recording. So yeah. if they're if they're watching this online, where should they go? They should go to iot.eclipse.org. That's our main. I mean, if you want to learn about, I think we have 15 projects right now. We only covered five of them, I think. So just go to iot.eclipse.org and go check check our projects. Play with our sandboxes, and that would be a bit cool. All right, thanks very much, Benjamin. And we have interviews going on all this week at the Java Hub at Java One. So join us for more interviews with folks like James Gosling and Charles Nutter. Thanks, thanks very much, Ben. Take care.